welcome back to my channel for another movie magic makeup look. For today's video, I wanted to revisit a Margot Robbie look I did a couple of years ago. It was Naomi from The Wolf of Wall Street in the iconic pink dress, and I feel like I was still new to transforming and wigs and everything, so I wanted to do kind of an improved version, but pick another look. So this time I went with the date night scene. I love this. It's so like early 90s. This eye makeup look and lip combo is just so universally flattering, so I hope you guys will try it out, and let's get into it. I've already got on this wig, which I'll have linked down below. It's not a perfect match because it's bangs and not a flowing piece of hair behind the ear like Naomi, but for a cheaper wig, it is a nice blonde shade. And I wanted to go bougie to start off, so I'm using the YSL Touche Clap Primer. You only need a tiny bit of this, it's lightweight, helps diffuse imperfections and smooth the look of the skin. It really does make the skin feel really soft. My skin has cleared up quite a bit in the humid summer, so I'm going to go in with my favorite lightweight drugstore foundation, the Revlon Candid Glow in the shade 150, Creme Brulee. Applying all over the skin, it's creamy, evens at your skin tone while moisturizing and gives you a dewy finish. I love this and I do have fine lines on my forehead, like I will eventually get bangs like this um, or straight across bangs, but I do find that the product doesn't make them stand out more. And to highlight and give some dimension to the face, I'm using a lighter shade of a full coverage concealer. This is L'Oreal Infallible and it's a great shade for this look. CoverGirl also has a similar option and I, I like them equally, so there's lots of options from the drugstore. Highlighting my chin, beside the nostrils, up the sides of the nose bridge, and this makes the contour have more contrast and look more snatched in the end, under the eyes of course, and above the brows. While this is more of a transformation, these highlight points are pretty universal to help brighten up the face. And the rest of the skin I did go high end with the powders and bronzers pretty much all from Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Genius Magic Powder. This is the shade 1 and it's light diffusing, uh, helps blur imperfections and boost radiance for a mattified, smoother looking finish. And I love all these products together and it's similar to the Hourglass Veil Powder I often use, but is surprisingly cheaper. This is a new product, the Matte Bronzer in Fair, also by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a natural soft bronze, and it's a great shade for pale complexions to slightly warm up all over without it being orange-based. It's very neutral, similar to the Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. Once I've applied this to my forehead, cheekbones, under the cheeks, dusted over the nose, I'm going to do the Margot Robbie nose contour that helps the transformation. As I always say, this part is just for fun, it's a challenge for me to do to make a cool thumbnail, but generally this look will look best in person if you contour your nose and your face to fit your natural face shape. But if you did want to experiment with creating more of a structured, defined nose, here's how I created the illusion. I'm creating a diamond-like shape following my inspiration photo. Now a small line across the tip of the nose. And I'm fading this downwards to make the tip look a little bit smaller and upturned. Did some shadowing under the nose tip, again more structure, and then I'm just blending this out, adding a line through the center, that's just how our bones are structured, and then I'm going to do the rest of the makeup and do touch-ups along the way. Another Charlotte Tilbury product for contouring and bronzing that I like is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Contour Duo. I'm using the bronzer to further deepen the contour and I like this rather than going with more of an ashier shade like I do sometimes like in the Harley Quinn look I did. But for this one, Margot Robbie was only 22 when she filmed The Wolf of Wall Street so she had a bit more of a fuller face in comparison to Harley but oh my god I did not know she was only 22. My absolute favorite highlight is the Hollywood Light Wand. I really do love Charlotte products for skin. I, there isn't really a dupe that I found for this one so I'm applying it right beside the contour to help pick up the light, add dimension, and give more of a believable contour. Time for blush, I went with this one from MAC. It's a nice peachy pink shade and I'm going up the cheekbones. Also added the same spotlight highlight to the very tops of the cheeks. Brows are easy for this look. I love Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and to suit the blonde with ashier roots, I use shade three filling in the sparse areas and fading in the head of the brow. Brush these up and totally optional, but since I changed my hair color and my coloring doesn't quite match, I added in the Benefit 3D Brow Tones to add some highlights to them. This is great if you have highlighted hair as well. 
And for eyes, we're doing a quick smoky eye with a pop of warm peachy brown in the center and smoked out liner, especially on the bottom lash line. Then the peachy warm brown above the center of the lid and I'm fading this down. Mixing peach tart and chocolate dip together, patting the brush off and then fading this into the crease, rounding out and upward throughout the outer V and fade it onto the lid. Super quick and easy, I used one big blending brush and a matte highlight to the brow bone, making sure the peach didn't get too blended away in the center there. And the other eye we go. You can use so many different drugstore palettes, I'll have a couple on screen that you can get the look with this. Under the lash line, we're gonna smoke out and it really brings the look together. Start with the deepest shade we've been working with and add this to the inner corner, under the lash line, and then smoke downward at the outer corner. Most of Naomi's look have this liner shape. I love it because it creates more of an almond shaped eye balancing out the roundness of the center of the eye. With a black liner pencil, deepen up the lash line. You can also line your waterline and tight line for a bolder look. With a liquid liner, one of my favorites is the Feline Flick. It's very black, very matte, and I'm keeping the line close to the lash line all the way from the inner corner to the end of the lashes. I'm not dragging it into a wing, but softening up the line over top with some black eyeshadow. Mascara time, quick coat on the upper and lower lashes. Boom, I love this look. It's matte, sexy, but not a ton of makeup. You can add falsies for more of like a clubbing vibe. Not that that's a thing right now, but that popped into my head. I love the applicator and since I'm not overlining, I'm just using the lipstick without a lip liner. In the actual movie scene, the shade looks like this in dim light. Naomi also looks a lot more tanned in the candlelit uh, lighting and scenery. I tried to replicate that in the intro, but based on the more well-lit image, the lip had more of a pinky magenta as well. So I mixed Velvet Underground, also by Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm pretty sure I used this in another Margot Retro look that she had in Terminal. So here's the whole look put together. Obviously the wig isn't perfect. The way it sits, I couldn't get volume up and out from the part, but the blonde definitely gives that Naomi vibe more than my brunette hair. And the polls are going away soon on YouTube and I love doing them. So let's do a voting in the comments. Which Margot Robbie role has been your favorite for hair and makeup? Naomi, Harley, or Margot Robbie as Sharon Tate? Thanks for watching! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture tutorials. I got these earrings that are not exact but pretty close from Bobble Bar so I'll have them linked down below and then this jumpsuit. It's not a dress but like a full jumpsuit. I am sweating right now but it is from Pretty Little, pretty little Thing and it has a very similar top. It was like the only mesh top that I could find that was quite similar to Naomi's in that scene. Also, I have a couple of fun videos that I have planned, so let me know what you'd like to see. First up, I was thinking of doing another very summery look similar to the Brooke Shields Blue Lagoon video that you guys loved last year, but I would do Candace Wanapool in this Vogue Brazil shoot she did because I just love that image. And uh, yeah, I would love to know if you'd wanna see that one as well as the 60s ad that I have had saved forever. So those are two ideas and the Labyrinth video as well for you Labyrinth fans because I know some of you were really excited when I mentioned that one. It's just taken me a while to make the dress. And as always, here are some of your recreations. I love it when you guys tag me on Instagram so I can feature you and I will see you in my next one.